The film was shot with these lenses, Nisi Athena Primes, and these lenses perform really well given their size and price. Low chromatic aberration, well controlled focus breathing, great sharpness even wide open. And look how tiny they are, they feel great in the hand. The build quality is pretty impressive. Now these lenses definitely lean more on the sharp and clean side as opposed to something like vintage lenses with so much characters, which are very popular right now. And I love lenses with some characters as well, but I found um, clean lenses like this more versatile because you can add some funkiness and characters later in post if you want. Although that's not going to give you 100% the same result as getting, getting the look in camera, but it can be fairly close. And if you need a nice and clean, say like a product shot, then you have that option as well. So these are great um, all around cine lenses that are actually worth owning. Let me show you guys a little test video first and then let's have a look at the specs of the lenses. T19 with exception to the 14 and 18 and 135 which is more than enough for me personally because I rarely shoot faster than T2 anyway. The focus throw is quite long at 300 degrees which could be a little too much if you're focusing with your hand like this by yourself but if you have a focus motor or a focus puller doing it for you you can be super precise and accurate with the focusing. I have PMM versions and they all weigh about just 800 grams each and they're all very similarly sized other than the 135 and have consistent gear placement for focus and iris as well which makes using them on a gimbal really easy as you don't have to rebalance your gimbal every time you change your lens. They have 70 27mm filter thread and 80mm front diameter which is pretty standard if you want to use clamp or map boxes and they have 46mm image circle which covers full frame and vista vision which makes these lenses even more versatile as you don't have to worry about getting you know uh, vignette on the corners of most cameras. They all have decent close focus distances as well but if you want to get better close focus Nisi also has close up lens that you can attach to your thinness. When it comes to focus breathing they're very well controlled which is pretty impressive considering their small size. The one thing you need to keep in mind is that the rear elements of the lens extend quite a bit in the PL versions so some of the adapters that have speed booster or some kind of filtration in them might not work with these lenses. Other than that they are without a doubt optically one of the best performing lenses I've ever used in this price range. They're incredibly compact given their large image circle, fast steer stop, great performance. So if you're looking for nice and clean versatile cine lenses, they're great options. Let me know what you guys think about these lenses and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!